Hello everyone! Welcome back to Bits and Bobs Divination. My name is Caitlin and today we're going to be playing around with your intuition to really look and unearth new opportunities and hidden treasure in your life at this time. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so welcome back, my beautiful kindred spirits, and anyone new who is joining us here today. Um, if you are new and you'd like to, definitely feel free as we go along and consider subscribing to this kindred spirit space. It is small but mighty, and I'd love to have you here as I put out new readings every single Monday. Uh, but like I said, we are going to be unearthing some hidden treasure today. So there's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of intuitive expansiveness within this reading. So definitely feel free to put your intuition cap on um, your little hat on because I do think that this one's going to be very much a co-creation kind of process here um, of unearthing these treasures so definitely feel free to really explore and expand on these meanings and these cards because I think that's going to be most useful to you as we move along but before we start heading into these little piles and treasure maps here today, I just want to invite you to check out the different ways you can support this channel as well if that's something that you're interested in. I have the Kindred Tip Jar down below as it's a great way to support this space as well as the different snail mail readings that I do um, and the magical spell paper that I create, although those are completely sold out at the moment, so thank you so much for the support on those. Um, I definitely will be making more batches in the future, uh, but uh, I do offer snail mail readings, so those are something you can check out as well. They are tangible, they are something you can truly treasure and experience. A lot of people really love them and treasured their own, so definitely feel free to check out all of the information on those down below as they are physically sent to you, wax sealed clothes, typewritten on a vintage typewriter, all the fun jazz. So yeah, all of the information down below, but we're going to go ahead and look at these piles. So along with each of these piles and little treasure maps to go with the unearthing hidden treasure theme, I also have different crystals to go along. So here for pile number one, we have a piece of pyrite here, um, very shiny, very gold, as well as this little treasure map. So the little X is at the bottom corner and then we have a little boat and a few little different things to check out here. So that is pile number one. For pile number two here, we have a rough piece of clear quartz. I always think it looks a bit like ice. It honestly feels a lot like ice. So that is pile number one, or pile number two's crystal. And then also here is your treasure map. It's surrounded by a lot of land and a lot less sea, but um, it's a very loop-de-loop -loop kind of way to get to this X marks the spot. So that is pile number two. And lastly here for pile number three, we have the crystal of emerald. And then also we have a different map. This one's a lot more open. It has a really interesting kind of broken up feel um, with the land. And yeah, so that is pile number three. So before you start heading off to your pile, I invite you to take a deep and cleansing breath to really ground into the piles, really take some time and some intuitive hits on each of them and see what really is sparking out to you. So let's go ahead and take that deep cleansing breath together here now. So as always, there's no right or wrong way to choose your piles here. You can choose one pile, two piles, all three piles. You can choose a pile, flip-flop, change your mind, rearrange it, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Pun not intended, but totally kind of intended. All of the information on the timestamps will be down below, as well as with the chapter marks of this video. And as mentioned before, if you want to check out all of the different ways to support this channel, then definitely feel free to check that out down below for the snail mail readings, magical paper that I create or the kindred tip jar and if you want to connect with me even further as I love to connect with so many of you um, uh, you can check out my Instagram down below so with all of that said let's go ahead and start unearthing your buried treasure with pile number one
Hello group one, if you've decided to choose this specific map as well as this piece of pyrite, then this is the pile for you. I'm going to set it here so you can see it as we begin to unearth new opportunities for you, um, new ways of seeing the world, ways you're mending spaces in your life, healing, whatever it is that you need, we're really going to unearth that at this time because sometimes there are opportunities just around the corner or in our peripheral vision that we just aren't taking advantage of and this is going to give you those signs and signals that maybe you're missing or you're not realizing are right in front of your face so that's what we're going to be doing today this is going to be super super intuitive so I really invite you to look at the charms look at the cards look at the letters and all of the different things that we're going to go through today um, with a very open mind and in a very expansive way um, so this is going to be very fun to visually watch and to really um take that time to unearth it within your intuition. So keeping that in mind, today we are going to be diving into a lot of things by using the charms, possibly the watercolor affirmations. We'll see how much time we have because I have so many things in store. Uh, we are going to be using a couple of different oracle decks as well as the tarot deck of choice today, which is the antique anatomy tarot. And then on top of that, we're also going to be pulling these letter tiles as well as number tiles too. So a lot to start heading into, a lot to play around with today. So if you are ready and settled, we're going to go ahead and get started. Feel free to send your energy in as always. And we're going to first pull three cards to just start looking for the clues on our map, right? These are the things that were destinations and places and the different um, obstacles as well as opportunities coming in for you. So let's see what those are. Let's see group one here. What are you unearthing? What new opportunities? What new pathways, ways of thinking, healing, mending? What is coming in for you in that way? So first off, we have the Wheel of Fortune, a really great one to get, especially because there's almost like a wheel in the center. Makes me think, especially with this sort of nautical theme that I've got going today, um, that you are at the wheel, you're at the helm, you are the one you know, really running your own ship and deciding where you're going to go. So there is a really nice thing of having like a compass or having the wheel really turning in your favor and helping you to move forward. Um, it almost feels like you're being not only guided by yourself, but you're allowing your intuition to really guide you at this time, as well as really um, taking in, I'm almost getting this feeling of like taking in this current season you're in and making sure that there aren't signs coming in in that way. Like I said, this one's going to be really expansive and explorative, so maybe take these literally. Maybe there's an actual wheel, like allowing yourself to, I don't know, get in your car and just to ride and just see where you intuitively find yourself. Um, something like that. Let's see here. So we also have the death card. So this one... I had a feeling for whatever reason was going to pop out today. It feels like, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, that this is either already passed or you're currently, this wheel's already sort of happened is what I'm feeling like. Like there is this feeling of like um, a opportunity that already came to pass or a feeling like you maybe feel like you missed an opportunity in your path, but that there are other ones on their way. So definitely don't take this too intensely. And also that it's okay to grieve an opportunity, to grieve a part in your story right now um, and see how that comes through. We're going to get more information on these cards in a minute. So I want to see a little bit further before I speak too much on that one. Let's get our last card here. Okay, so we've got one card. And that is the Page of Blades. I really like this one. It's just really stunningly beautiful. And it makes me almost see, like, it almost looks like the X that we're looking for on the map, right? So it feels like you're just, you really are wheeling yourself. There is that X kind of happening in all of these in a sort of way. But this one feels like it's like, okay, so I'm getting this feeling that you've currently ended a cycle that 
isn't easy. It hasn't been an easy cycle. And because of that, you are now new to a new cycle of a new way of living, a new way of seeing the world that maybe wasn't a way you wanted to, or maybe things didn't end the way that you wanted them to. But there is good fortune to come to you, even though this is maybe something you have to grieve or something that is still so new to you by moving into this cycle, right? Sometimes when doors close, we have to then be an adventurer and move through the world even though the door closed because you you can't stay in that threshold too long. So I want to get a little bit more information on each of these three cards today um, instead of just looking at them individually. So for this, we're going to be using the Celtic Lenormand cards here to get a little bit more of the storyline um, aspect of this. So I'm going to pull one for each of these cards. So feel free to send your energy in. We're going to look deeper into these cycles, into what this new opportunity is that you're walking into. Because so far it's very energetic based. We don't have like specifically, is it career or is it um, home life? So I want to see a little bit more here. Let's get three cards, please. Okay, so first off we have the, you could see this as a man, but really it just means someone who has a lot of wealth or a lot of experience um, in their field. So seeing as we're moving from the page, like I said before, I feel like you had a lot of experience with a person, an opportunity, a place, whatever this death card represents for you, a cycle that's closed, a door that's closing, and a new door opening. I do see that juxtaposition of moving from a place where maybe before you felt really comfortable with a person, comfortable in an opportunity, really like you really knew what you were doing, you were the leader, you understood things, you were very mature in this space, to moving to this page of swords, moving to this place where you're like kind of holding the sword and you don't know how to do it and it's all really new to you and you have to be a novice again. So embracing that novice side of yourself I think is going to be where you're going to actually have more fun and more freedom that way so let's see a little bit more um but I do see you still kind of wobbling with it with the wheel of fortune we have here um and I forgot to say the numbers here but we have the number 28 as well as the ace of hearts and then here with the fox you have the nine of clubs or the nine of wands and 14 which 14 can represent um, a king in tarot. So I am getting this feeling like you're going on your own, like you're on your own now. You're moving into an individual situation. You know, you're the captain of, of your ship now. You're the one having to steer where it goes. Maybe you had, it may even be that like you had someone in your life who was leading you and it may not even be that you're switching to that that novice position but maybe you just had someone teaching you you had a mentor a teacher a someone you could really look up to and you now don't have that and um maybe you're going through a bit of a grieving for that but I also do see this feeling of like curiosity I see this feeling of realizing the strengths that you have um by allowing yourself to be the one that is steering this ship now that you're actually realizing and you're having to maybe grow up a little bit faster but you're also being able to experience new things that you didn't get to before because you were the one watching or trying to understand things from a student perspective to now actually living it and seeing it and seeking at it and so I really like the wonderment there so let's see what else you have that we're unearthing at this time with the death card okay so we got two of them I wasn't planning on taking two but you know here we are so we have here the number 19 and 5 as well as the seven of hearts and the six of swords so definitely a moving on energy coming in with both of those but this usually represents health the tree does. It can represent your physical health. It can represent someone else's health. So seeing as that came in and I had that grief feeling, there could be quite a heaviness to this, this unearthing. Um, but also such a lightness too. There feels like there's like, yes, you're unearthing some like pain and some difficulty that's coming with this, but there also feels to be like really fun memories or like, um, like laughter I just feel like there's like this feeling of needing to have some more laughter and fun because you feel closed off or you feel maybe there's a certain way you need to present yourself through this time um, but also it can also be just that like if you don't feel like you've had 
um, any like actual death in, in your life at this time. It can also mean other things like you're moving from one cycle to the next and that can also be a grieving process too, right? Like moving from being a um, parent to a grandparent or moving from being a student to a teacher or moving from being at one job to the next. Like you're maybe you're having to grieve the process of that bittersweet change that happens between these two spaces, right? Because you're on that threshold. You're, you're not sure what's beyond the door, but you're having to move through the door anyway is what I'm getting this feeling. Like you weren't I don't feel like the death was something that you were expecting, but I do think that there's going to be a lot of good and laughter and good times to still come. So definitely keep looking and searching for those um, and using them as a way to move you forward. So those are the signs and signals coming in so far for what we're unearthing, but I want to look a little deeper. So now we are going to go ahead and pull you two from these C Melodies cards. Just really sad one this way, but um, two from the C Melodies cards. So we're going to pull here two for you. So we've got one, Voyage see what else is coming in here for you group one group one what are you unearthing at this time what new hidden treasure and experiences are on your way um through maybe this new grieving process or to this new space that you're moving into okay so we have change yep a wheel is definitely turning and it may not have been in your power at first but I do think that now it's in your power. That power has shifted. So we're moving from where we have change. Know when to move to a new shell, especially if yours no longer fits. And then there's these little um, hermit crabs, I believe, at the bottom, changing shells. And then you also have here voyage, which I think is interesting because you did have the six of swords here, which can represent a voyage or travel in a very literal sense. But this can also just mean, like I said, being a captain of your own ship, going on this new voyage, being the master of your own sea. Um, but yeah, it says voyage here, set sail on a new course. So it definitely is a sudden change, but I do think that this change is going to give you so many new like places of laughter, so many new experiences that are definitely unsettling maybe at first. Like you don't feel settled, you don't feel possibly like you understand where your place is but I do think like I said it's like getting in your car and you're just gonna find where you need to be when you follow your intuition you're just gonna get in there and then drive and you'll find where you need to be you're gonna find your community find your place so not gonna lie your pile is giving you a lot of like room to expand and to explore it doesn't feel super specific on like career like I mentioned or love or this it's so much in your power now to decide where to go next um, which can be a little unsettling can be a little bit scary but I do think that you are going to gain a lot from it so with that in mind we're now going to unearth your hidden treasure so with these cards and later with the charms and also all of the different tiles we're going to get a lot more information but I do want to look at your hidden treasure the thing you're going to learn most through all of this um, and it's going to be that hidden treasure for you so let's see group group one here what do you have for your hidden treasure definitely send your energy in your hidden treasure what are we unearthing Okay, we have the sun. Very, very good one to be getting. Really beautiful for your pile as well. It says here, the sun, nourishment, optimism, and leadership. Like I said, you're moving into a space of leadership, but I don't want you to grow up too fast. Like, allow yourself to make some mistakes, to try new things, to taste new foods, new experiences, go and set sail on something new. Um, allow yourself to have a little bit of that time and to experience the idea of being a little unsettled and maybe not sure how it's going to go but stepping putting your feet in the water anyway dabbling anyway the sun also can be like I said nourishing so there is this feeling of making sure to still nourish your body making sure to still um, take care of yourself at this time too and not get too wrapped up in it all and then the last thing too with optimism, um, it's not to think positive all the time, but like that laughter, that lighter feeling. What are things in your life that can help 
give some laughter, to take a little bit of that weight off, or even just allow yourself to grieve through it and then see the lightness that comes from allowing yourself to um, really feel your emotions through this process. Because there is a new day and the day is going to keep on moving like that wheel of fortune. That It's just going to keep on moving. We're going to move to a new sun, a new set, a new sun, a new set. So you're on the sunrise right now and that can be a lot to take in but it can also be super exciting as well. Like what can you fill with this new space? What can you enjoy in this new space while still honoring the days of before from the sunsets before? So... With that all in mind, these are your cards so far. I want to go ahead and pull you some charms. So for today, we are actually going to use this um, little box that I've had for quite a while. And then I actually ended up sewing myself a little mini version of my giant mat for this specific purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in. And we are going to go ahead and pull you first some letter tiles. So this is going to give us names, dates, places, that kind of stuff to give us a little bit more information. And then we're going to also pull some um, numbers as well. So feel free to send your energy in. Group one. Okay. So first off here you have D, A, O, and N. Um, I almost got Dawn or Yawn out of that in some way. We also have the letter K, D, I, N. Oh, I got Kind. Like, be kind to yourself. Kindness in some way. That came through as well. Um, I don't know why I got, like, Dinosaur showing up here as well. Uh, DNA. Interesting. Being kind to your DNA. Maybe there's something about... Um, like, like I said, being kind to yourself with possibly someone who passed in your family or someone who feels like family in that way, or even just honoring a past version of yourself, a past um, cycle also, or culture even. Uh, but that's what I'm seeing here. Definitely, as always with this, it's so intuitive as we move into these charms and the rest of this with the letters that we're about to pull, or the numbers rather, that we're about to pull to really let your intuition shine here. So feel free to write these down, pause, take some time, really see what comes through for you, especially with the cards that we pulled, and um, play around with it. So let's see. Group one here see here group one some numbers okay not too many wasn't feeling a bunch of them popping out at me so we have the number 13 which is related to the death card and then we also have 3 and 11 wow that's definitely coming through there is this feeling of grief there is this feeling of um a new cycle things closing, that kind of stuff. So definitely a repeat as before, but three can also be the number of creation as well. So even though it may seem like everything might be doom and gloom right now, there is a lot of new creative things in, in your path that are on their way in that you're going to be unearthing, um, but it can be a difficult process to get there. So definitely be kind with yourself. Let's go ahead and pull you some charms now. So definitely feel free to send your energy in and we will pull some of these charms. So here we go. Three, one. Interesting that one actually ended up falling all the way off. So this one fell near the um, the death card and we have a new key, a key to open a new door. And this one usually represents your spirit. So this isn't just like a key to luck or a key to that someone gave you. This is like your own spirit, your soul opening a new door. So that's really beautiful. Almost gave me chills, honestly. I love that you actually did get the X charm. So this is like X marks the spot or allowing yourself to really find that hidden treasure. It's definitely coming through here. We got X's and O's, X's and O's. So hugs and kisses even could be coming through. You got the transformation. Um... Uh, charm as well because I always see this one as like 
not only transforming once but transforming again so this might not been might not have been the first time this has come through you might have had to experience this before in your life um but then we also have the scissors so it's cutting things off as well maybe cutting off an x as well might be be coming in here for the death as well um, or cutting off a cycle that just no longer worked for you anymore um, definitely see how these come through. I'm going to go ahead and lift this up, so feel free to pause if you want to look at this, um, but I'll also let you take a minute to look at the different cards here as well in case there was anything coming through. We had, like I said, 28, 14, 19, and 5. So yeah, I'm not getting really too much new. Like I said, there's just a lot of that nourishment, that new voyage, setting sail on something, allowing yourself to transform. I almost feel... The more that I get into this, I almost feel like there's, like, guilt, I guess, for moving forward. Like, with the optimism that's coming in here from the sun, I almost feel like there's, like, this guilt for moving forward. That, like, maybe you should have stayed with this person, or maybe you should have done things differently, or maybe your grief isn't enough, or laughter isn't something you're allowed to have. And grief is a funny, fickle thing. It goes in and out in waves. And I think the most important thing is just to be kind to yourself, allow yourself to nourish your body still between this. And sometimes nourishment comes from laughter, comes from good times, allowing yourself to remember good times. Um, or if it was from a past version, a bittersweet moment of change too, it can also just be reminding yourself of how much you're going to gain from moving forward, from trying something new. If you're moving from one job to the next, maybe you're unearthing something there as well. So like I said, I invite you to look at these charms and see what comes through in the way that you see them. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading here today with me and seeing the different way that we played around with this. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, especially since this was so open-ended so intuitive very much just signs and signals to really kind of let you put the pieces together to start creating that map of these new experiences you want to create but if you did enjoy this definitely be sure to give this video a like and let me know in the comments down below but also if you haven't already definitely feel free to join this kindred spirit space by subscribing as I put out new videos every single Monday for love, career, spirituality, and new ones like this where we really play with our intuition and see what hits that we get. Um, so if you're here for that, if you want to be here in this small but very mighty community, then definitely feel free to subscribe. And also, if you'd like to support this space even further, I have a kindred tip jar down below. It is by no means necessary, but it has really helped in getting new charms and cards and new things to really uplift this space so I do truly appreciate it um, and also if you would like to support yourself as well as this channel then definitely feel free to check out the different offerings I have down below right now I am doing snail mail readings for uh, April so definitely feel free to check those out um, they're typewritten on a vintage typewriter wax sealed they're treasured um, by so many different people who have received them and I have lots of honest reviews down below as well so thank you so much for being here and unearthing all of these different new experiences and paths on the way in for you and I will see you in the next one bye hello group two if you've decided to choose this piece of clear quartz as well as this specific treasure map then this is the pile for you as we begin to unearth the different new experiences new ways of healing new beautiful opportunities just around the corner this is definitely going to be a very intuitive reading so i really invite you to take some time pausing looking at the different charms and cards and things that we pull really looking at the numbers and signs and and signals that you're getting from guides, yourself, your higher self, the universe, whatever it is. I really want this to be very open-ended because I do think it's going to go in a lot of different directions. So you can leave some, keep some, take some. I just think that it's going to be very expansive and I want you to be able to play around in this space with me. So let's co-create this uh, together using the charms. We may even touch in with the watercolor affirmations today. We're also going to be using several different or decks as well as the antique anatomy tarot and even some letter and number tiles with the charms so lots to play around with and lots to dive into so let's start unearthing these new opportunities new ways of mending new relationships um 
new ways of seeing the world and your situation at this time and the hidden treasure within it all. So first off, we're going to look into the key points coming in, the things you're beginning to unearth, or even you could see it as like the path that you're starting to take. So feel free to send your energy in as always, and we're going to start going right into it. So group two, what are we unearthing for you at this time? What are you unearthing? So group two, group two. So, okay, we've already got two coming out. The very first one that we got was the queen of rods here, which can be the uh, number 13. We also have the, um, the seven of elixirs. So this is also known as the seven of cups. So things very upended right now or up in the air even is a feeling I'm getting this feeling of things being up in the air, but maybe even being okay with it. Like there's this like confidence that's coming from that. And then you have the king of rods, which is also um, the king and queen of rods both showing up here. So you have 14, 13 and seven for numbers. So that might help in case you work with angel numbers or anything like that. But yeah, already just based off of this and we're gonna look actually even deeper with some more cards here at these specific ones but what I'm getting about the story about the map that we're looking at right now is that there are two characters in the story we have the king and the queen so this can be a couple this can be a friendship this can be um, two versions of yourself you can see it however you like but it does feel like an a intense amount of charisma confidence um almost could even be arrogance in some ways um especially because with the seven of elixirs it usually talks about only being able to or not being able to choose having just wanting all of what's ahead of you you want all the options all at once and sometimes that can come off a little arrogant that you're allowed to have all of that but sometimes it can also just showcase the confidence that you have there also is a lot of really great communication skills coming in here um and this feeling of like almost playing around with escapism is what I'm getting here too, like daydreams and fantasies and allowing those to actually be really beautiful ways into moving into your life. Sometimes we are so serious. There is this fun that's coming in. I do see a lot of fun that you're unearthing. A almost like bubbly like a bubbly laughter, like a social laughter is what I'm getting here. Like, I feel like I could just giggle because I think you just want to have fun. I think you just want to go out, meet new people, meet new experiences, see the world from a new perspective. So we're already getting that just by coming into this reading, right? We're looking for new perspectives, but let's look deeper because I do think there's obviously more to see here. So let's look deeper first on this King of Rods. And feel free, as always, to send your energy in. There we go. Just feeling this one. So we have the letter. Interesting one to get. It also has, interesting, another 7 as well as 27. So we have 777. Seven, seven. That can talk about reflection um, and, or introspection. So yeah, we have the letter showing up here. This can talk about communication, the way that you communicate with another person. Maybe you're in communication right now with someone who feels very charming, feels very possibly arrogant or very confident, very much knows who they are um, or possibly are putting on a front. So see which way it, it's swinging here. Um, but you might be in correspondence with them through not necessarily like letters, but it can also be like you're texting them, you're in communication with them in some way. Uh, we have the number 27 as well as the seven of um, swords here, which can mean usually with the seven of swords, it can mean like a mix up in communication too. So making sure that you're communicating really clearly with this person, especially if you have um, a specific way in which you want to move forward with them. It can be friendship, can be romantic, platonic, it can be a family member, whoever it may be. It does seem like what you're unearthing is more clear communication with this person because we have so much fantasy element and there also is this feeling of holding something back or withholding information either on your end or theirs. So that's something to think about. Let's see some more information on the queen of rods here. Queen of Rods. Oof. That might be too many, but I'm going to take this one because it was the closest. 
So let's see. We have the fish. Okay, so interesting. So we have the fish. It also has the king of diamonds here or the king of pentacles as well as the number 34 in case that resonates with anyone. Uh, but here within this queen and like I I don't know if I mentioned, but these don't have to be specific to a queen and king in the typical way of gender, so you can definitely look beyond that. Um, but just thinking of them as like the top dogs in their suit, so very boisterous, very energetic, very passionate people. And in this case, it seems like there's a lot of resources coming in here because whenever we see the fish, it represents resources. So it could be a boss, it could be someone of a coworker, or if you've been seeing yourself in this card, it can mean that you have the resources right now. You have a lot of resources either to talk to this person or to start making new moves forward. The things that you're dreaming up, maybe you have a lot of funds right now to start heading on a vacation or to start... Um, going on dates with this person or to plan really fun new activities for yourself maybe starting a new hobby that you've always wanted to do whatever it is that you might be unearthing in this new escapism fantasy element that we have your head in the clouds I think that you have the resources to make it happen if you allow yourself to have the confidence to do so so let's see a little bit more on this fantasy element so group two here, this fantasy element of the seven of elixirs. What one do you think you're probably going to take? Because it can also represent indecision, right? You have so many options to take here. So let's see. Okay, so yeah, there's an abundance of them because you got the meadow, which usually showcases an abundance of different options. You have so many options in your path right now. So it definitely feels like you don't have, it's, if you feel right now that you don't have opportunities around you, I definitely think it might be good to take a second look at it because you definitely have a lot of resources showing up here. You have other people in your corner. It might just mean that you need to reach out, um, Maybe you could even see this as being a boss or a coworker, like I mentioned earlier. So if you're looking for new job opportunities, maybe it's just making sure to put your name out there. Really get that, go from this being a dream to really being a reality. Because the meadow can also talk about not only an abundance of opportunities, but also an abundance of like people to network with, right? You see this meadow and it's a, a bunch of people get gathering together. So I really can see this also as networking, meeting new people, going to new places to meet those people. We also have the eight of swords, so it can showcase a little bit of like... Um, hesitancy there as well as the number 20 so see how the different numbers match up for you we're gonna pull more numbers later but so far like I said we have 27 34 20 uh, king is 14 as well as 8 7 14 13 and 7 so lots of sevens honestly lots of sevens and twos which sevens represent being very much in the mind, being very much reflecting, thinking back on things, overanalyzing things, and two usually represents two people or a duality that's involved there. So take that how it resonates, but that's what we have first is just some clues about the map, just setting the stage. So now that we've set the stage, let's see some more on the direction that you're going to be taking using these um, C Melodies cards. They're kind of like the song you're singing, the way that you get there, the process in which you get there. So the things that you're heading towards, it seems, is um, either escapism or making a decision, reaching out to someone, using those resources and opportunities in your corner because the ball is really in your court right now. Uh, so let's see group two. There's one of them. Let's pull one more. Definitely feel free to send your energy in. My goodness, you guys really did send your energy in. Okay, so we have two of them here. And I'm going to pick up the rest over here. That's, look at how many flew. It's crazy. Okay, so let's see what you got. Um, the first one here was breathe. Break from beneath the water surface and soar up beyond the turquoise sea. That's what I was totally getting with that eight of swords. There does seem to be this bit of hesitancy to have such freedom. Um, sometimes we put on an air of confidence and I think it's about breathing into that, allowing yourself to, sometimes, you know, we have to fake it till we make it, but it's, it's, you know, it's a tight, it's a, it's a rope. Um, what am I trying to say? Like, it's a hard thing to kind of navigate, right? Like, if we 
fake it till we make it, sometimes we never really get to that feeling like we actually made it or that we actually deserve the things that we um, get to. But it also sometimes does give us that confidence to just sort of work through that nervousness. So see how it comes through. As the other card that you got here is Anchor, and it says, keep yourself grounded. So you have definitely this juxtaposition, right? Breathe, soaring up, and then you have Anchor, what's keeping you grounded. So it does seem like you're kind of working in that duality, that two space, um, as well as just making sure that like you've got your head in the clouds, but also it's time to like actually make a decision, something that's actually like put the anchor down really hunker down somewhere and allow yourself to really make a, uh, it's making me think of like putting a ripple in water. Like that's the image that I'm getting right now with these fishes. Like you are dropping the, the rock in the pond and seeing the ripples that it makes. And I think there is like this feeling of like, that's what you're doing at the anchor, but it doesn't have to be so solid, right? You can throw it several different places and see where it lands. You don't have to choose just one. So that's where that freedom to still explore in different ways comes in. So yeah, definitely expansive. Um, but let's go ahead and pull your final card that we're going to pull. But we're also going to be pulling, like I said, the letter tiles, the numbers, and the charms. So stay tuned for those. But what I want to do with this specific card is look into what you're going to gain most. What is your hidden treasure? What is going to be the, you know, the, the like gold in the entire experience here of like, why am I putting out um, and why am, why am I like even doing this, right? Like, why am I unearthing all of this? What's the purpose in putting the ripples in the water? So let's go ahead and see. So group... Two, what is your hidden treasure in all of this? A hidden ability that you're going to find in yourself, a lesson you might be learning, a new action you might be taking. Let's see. So, okay, we've got the artist. Very interesting. Very, like, out of left field. Was not expecting this. But we have creativity, ingenuity, and labor. So this can be, when I was seeing labor, makes me think of, like, um, that career opportunity feeling I was getting from the start but also maybe taking things in a new path doing things in a way you haven't been doing before but isn't so out of your realm that you couldn't try it is what I'm thinking too with the artist it can also talk about like just seeing things from a new from new colors and seeing things in new colors so maybe you've been at this job before or you've met this person before but you're seeing their true colors you're seeing a new experience from um like going from like colorblind to like really seeing in full HD color is what I'm getting from this. I also see you maybe putting something like I think what you're unearthing is like a new way of thinking that other people in your field or other people are going to find a little bit about you. Um, like I almost see other people are going to see new colors in you as well because I think that you're unearthing new parts of yourself that you hadn't found before, like your confidence, like we mentioned before. Um, also being able to maybe see the world from a new point of view, um, being very, um, very unique with the lens in which you see the world and allowing yourself to be vulnerable for other people to see the the lens in which you see and voicing that in some way in a more artistic or creative way so I really like that that's a great hidden treasure a great hidden talent almost um or rather like hidden quality of yourself that's very unique and something that should be celebrated as well I see a lot of celebration that comes in from this too so, okay, that's what we've got so far, but I want to look even deeper, and um, I'm going to be setting this on top here, so definitely feel free to pause if you want to look at these cards, but I'm going to go ahead and set this on top and zoom you in so we can look at everything. I have a new little contraption here to look at a mini version of our charms as well as the different letter tiles that we get, so let's go ahead and start first with the letters. So these are going to give us names, dates, and places, um, as well as little oracle messages so definitely play around with your intuition with these so group two okay 
So first off, we got K-O-O. Um, so a coup, maybe, maybe even, maybe the artist had something about singing, uh, but we have coup with K-O-O, maybe kangaroo, we've got D and O, so lots of K's and O's, uh, or lots of O's just in general, but lots of, like, coups, um, to do something, um, making an action. I had a lot of action coming through here because you have a lot of of um card showcasing that from before right we had the action to start networking the action to put those ripples in the water the actions towards creativity and towards being the first person to really put your foot out there right like put your foot in the door kind of feeling with the letter um so that's what i'm seeing here with k o o d o not a lot to to work with there but definitely feel free to see what else comes through for you and we're also going to pull some numbers. These might be birthdays or other dates. Okay, so a few more on the number side. So we have 10, 8, 6, 6, 9, and... Oh, sorry, actually, that is a nine. So we have 10, 8, 9, 9, 1, and 6. So also 16, maybe 19 or 18. Um, see how it, it comes through? This could be January or different months. These can showcase different birthdays or other important dates coming through here with the different cards that we've gotten. But now we're going to go ahead and unearth the final parts of everything. So this is going to give us those last details with the charms. So let's go ahead and start mixing them up. my goodness I had so many just flying out so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of those but goodness look at all of this we've got a few of them that that fell off of here so I'm gonna go ahead and pick those up but the ones that we did get here we've got the silver lining charm as um kind of tangled around the uh innocence charm. I see this as being innocent, naive to something, very new or a novice at something, as well as like the feeling of childhood comes a lot in this charm as well. So think of like your teenage years. You know some things, but you don't know everything. And I think that's going to be your silver lining, maybe going back to that naive feeling that definitely came through with pile number one too so if you watched both one and two that might have resonated more deeply with some of you we got the angel charm with i love you which is really sweet i got this from my grandma after she passed so this might again re relate to pile number one especially if you watched both of them but it can mean that you just have someone kind of really looking out for you right now and then we have the don't not listening charm so I really do I'm getting like this feeling of like uh, someone from your past or someone trying to reach out to you right now and maybe you're not listening or you put your headphones on you're not listening to the signs from spirit or not listening to those letters coming through we got the letter k showing up again so that's definitely coming in with both k's um, this k showed up next to different um tools so we have the hacksaw as well as the uh, hammer here so the hammer showcases like persistence um, repetition reminds me a lot of like the eight of pentacles energy of work and labor and repetition to get something done as well as the hacksaw feels like the quicker version right you're just hacking it off and just being like okay I just want it done so there is this feeling of possibly rubbing someone the wrong way or making sure that what you're saying isn't you're not just repeating yourself over and over and over to just really get to the point because like I said you might have been tiptoeing around a situation back at the very beginning of the reading we had that seven coming through this feeling of like over analyzing things so allow that like young energy of just like I just gonna put this out here see what happens and see what comes in because I think that's gonna be more of an asset for you we also have the hummingbird, which reminds me a lot of the um, breathe card. So we've got the hummingbird, like the bird coming up and soaring out of the water. 
So a lot of freedom to allow yourself that. We have abundance again of ideas and things. That's maybe why you're feeling slightly overwhelmed by them. But I think just start heading towards the ones that give you a lot of love, that make you feel loved or make you feel like you're passionate, you have like a, a reason to be here and things that you're actually passionate about and that might help you with that seven feeling or the abundance of opportunities but heading towards the ones that actually give you love or make you feel abundant, make you feel um, passionate rather about what you're doing. We also have the sidestepping situation happening here with the um, night. So this represents sidestepping something and this actually did fall over here at the very beginning. So I do see you sidestepping or moving around a conversation that maybe is difficult but there is this feeling of persistence coming in with this charm. So persisting through that, persisting through the awkwardness or feeling like you have to withhold information or overthink it, um, that I think that you're going to be unearthing a lot of confidence in conversation or in putting your foot out there through this experience. And then lastly, you have the um, femme charm. I see this as femme or just like, it makes me think of like old ornate things that you'd see at like your grandma's house. So again, another grandma or um, past loved one kind of feeling coming through from that. But as always, definitely take your time and pause and look at these different charms. Maybe you see hummingbirds in your family's yard or you see this this penny in a different way or the numbers or letters in a different way. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this reading, definitely be sure to give this video a like. It really does help the channel so much and I appreciate it. But like I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts and see what you think of this reading. It is definitely more open-ended, this one. It's not like a perfect direction, but we're just unearthing things and seeing what sticks and what doesn't for you. Um, but if this is one of your very first readings here with me, it was lovely to have you. And thank you so much for joining in with me and seeing what intuitive messages really spoke to you. Uh, but I do have a ton of different readings that you can check out on my channel. Or you can even um, subscribe as I put out new readings every single Monday. And if you haven't already, definitely feel free to hit the bell as well so you can stay up to date on each of those. And as they come out in real time, um, as this is such a kindred space, a small but mighty community, and I'd love to have you a part of it um, and also if you have been here for a while or if you'd like to if you'd like to support this space even further I have a kindred tip jar down below it is by no means necessary but does really uplift this space by helping me get more tools and different decks and supplies to really speak more on the different messages that come through for you but you can also look at other ways to support this channel and yourself by looking at the snail mail readings that I provide right now I'm doing snail mail readings for April they're very treasured a lot of people who have gotten them have really loved and enjoyed them and sometimes even come across them at unexpected or interesting times um, that are almost readings that come back to them in a way, right? Like if there's a time in which you need it, it will show back up again. So if you want to check out all of the information on all of the different offerings that I provide and the different kindred tip jar and things, then definitely check out the description down below and you'll find everything there. I do think I've said everything I wanted to say. Thank you so much for being here for this very much of a waffly, interesting type of reading. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello group three, if you've decided to choose this piece of emerald as well as this specific treasure map, then this is the pile for you. I'm going to go ahead and set it down here for you today as we are going to be really unearthing all these new opportunities, new exp exciting experiences, or just finding new ways of viewing the world and viewing your world and expanding on it because these are going to be very playful very expansive and very open-ended um, because who knows what you're going to find when you're finding hidden treasure sometimes it's duds sometimes it's really beautiful things um, so we're going to see we're just going to play around so as always we are going to be using the charms we may even touch in on the watercolor affirmations we'll see but we are definitely going to be using several different oracle decks as well as as well as the antique anatomy tarot, the letter tiles, number tiles, and um, a few new ways uh, in which I'll be casting. So there's a lot to play around with. So um, 
definitely feel free to get settled. All of the different supplies will be down below in the description for you to check out. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and just dive right into this, right? Let's just dive to the deepest ocean. Let's look into this unearthing hidden treasure. So first off, we're going to look into the narrative around this, right? What are the sea monsters you're going to um, come across? The islands, the opportunities, the people that you might be meeting. Let's see the um, narration here. So feel free to send your energy in and let's go group two. Let's set out on this adventure. Group two. Oh, sorry, group three. That happened to me with group two as well. I kept wanting to say group three. Interesting. I don't know. Maybe you guys couldn't choose between the two piles, but group three here. And they're flying out now that I'm saying the correct one. Okay, so we've got two of them. Let's pull out one more here for group three, please. Okay. Lots of um, court cards today. Interesting. So you definitely have different people on this journey um, that you're unearthing and heading on. So here we are first off with the King of Elixirs. But we also have, which is really interesting, is the Knight of Elixirs. So we have the King and the Knight. So we have both the number 13 as well as the number 12. So that may resonate with you guys, or sorry, 14 and 12. Uh, but let's see the next one. And then we also have the um, Eight of Blades, I believe. Or no, sorry, Seven of Blades. So here we are with the Seven of Blades or the Seven of um, Swords. So right off the bat, it feels like there's this feeling of hidden information, right? Because whenever we see the Seven of um the seven of swords it represents hidden information sometimes it's because someone wants to hold back a secret surprise sometimes it's because someone doesn't want to tell you something that's really difficult to hear sometimes it's because people aren't ready to unearth that thing and so when you start digging right you you find things you weren't maybe expecting so we're gonna see more on this as we go but it definitely feels like there are people involved in this narrative there are um, there is sort of this hidden communication or hidden element here of someone either stirring the pot or just happening to be in the wrong place at the wrong time but needing to say something about it. So the characters that we have showing up here, um, like I said, we have both the knight and the king. So this can represent any gender, but I do see this as um, being from almost an evolution, right? We can see this as a parent and a child, or we can see this as usually a teenager, an adult, or something like that, right? Someone being a little bit more of a novice and someone being a little bit more mature in this suit. And so seeing as we have them both in the same suit, it definitely feels like it has something that is very emotionally charged. So there might be an emotionally charged conversation that needs to be had between you and another person, or if you feel like you are more of the knight, you may be moving up or getting a lot of emotional maturity from this, these conversations that you're going to be having with this person or vice versa. You might be giving pep talks or um, needing to say some information that might be more emotionally charged at this time to someone who is younger than you, maybe less emotionally mature than you or something along those lines. But that's what we're getting so far. There's not a lot of information here, so I definitely want to look deeper. So we're going to start looking with these Celtic Lenormand cards at, for three different cards here. So first off, feel free to send your energy in. We're going to look in a little bit further. So here we are with the Knight of Elixirs. What else do we need to know about this specific character in the, the narrative here? three. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have the number five, which I think is funny because it also has not only the number five, but also the seven of cups. So right, an emotionally charged situation, possibly relating to the seven of blades and unearthing of information. Um, and five usually represents change. So it's going to either stir the pot because it's just going to give us some new information that we weren't maybe expecting. Um, but there does seem to be like some new hidden surprises starting to unearth at this time from someone uh, whom, which is this knight. So if you see yourself as this knight, then this is going to be coming to 
light. Um, otherwise, it may be the other way around. But what's interesting is you've got it as the tree. And not only the tree, but you got it specifically as the tree that is in winter. So this does showcase it's going to be a little bit harder to budge this out, right? It's going to be a little stiffer. You have to put a lot more energy, a lot more strain into it. Um, but I do think that there is going to be a lot of benefit that comes from and a lot of emotional maturity from unearthing this. So I almost am seeing like this feeling like experience if you especially if you are connecting specifically with this card um with the idea of being the the person needing to say something about about a situation if you're the one withholding the information basically i definitely see an emotional maturity level up that comes from this and then it's up to you to unearth this information um otherwise it's just going to stay hidden and um maybe you're even trying to keep it buried you're the one putting the buried treasure in the ground but let's look a little further so we're going to get some more information here group three on this king of elixirs so here we are with 22 as well as the queen of um, pentacles or the queen of diamonds here and this card is showcasing the path so this is about being kind of indecisive, not being able to choose a path, maybe because you don't have all of the information, or maybe because you're still looking at the information here on this rock, right, that's giving you maybe a little bit of a path, or trying to figure out which way to go. But like I said, maybe they don't have all of the information, all of the facts, because you are withholding them, or someone else around them is withholding that information from this person. So again, it definitely depends on which person you're feeling like you are in this situation, that this card may be more useful to you uh, but there you are with 22 and the queen which also represents the number 13 so we have 12 13 and 14 and it may even have something involving that queen of pentacles energy uh, so let's look a little bit further so group three let's look at this hidden information here Okay, so we have the uh, burial ground. So this is the burial ground. It is also the number eight as well as the nine of pentacles, which I think is interesting to get both the nine of pentacles on this card because the nine of pentacles can be very settled, feeling really like you've got everything figured out, you know what you're doing. And the burial ground can talk about like, <laughs> I literally, like I was saying, like you're burying this information or someone around you is really burying this information from you and like I said it may not be from a malicious space it can be just someone's like hiding a surprise party from you and that's why you can't make a decision moving forward or it could even be just like something very small um, but it does seem like there's information missing and they're carrying the information because we also have this little crow which usually represents um uh, like a really good communication or communicators in some way it represents that air element so that's what I'm getting here it also can represent something being put to rest so it also feels like once this information comes to light that you can uh, maybe get a sigh of relief from it or someone around you is going to get a lot of sigh of relief from it um, because there can be this feeling of feeling unsettled because you're not really sure where to go yet. There is a lot having to do with this burial energy um, in all three piles, but definitely pile one. So if you're really connecting with this card, I definitely would say check out pile number one as well, because that might relate a little bit more deeply to this. Uh, but let's go ahead and look further. So now that we know a lot about the characters, the people, the situations, let's get a little bit of some oracle messages with the Sea Melodies deck because I love the nautical theme that we have going on here with the treasure map and the hidden um, things. Let's look at some of the tools and new ways and perspective coming through from this, right? So this is like your, your new way of seeing the world um, or compass even. So first off, we have turbulence, very, very much what we were already talking about, like at this, most of this deck is very positive, and this is one of the, the cards that definitely showcases more of that turbulent energy, and shows the mind is murky and rough water, so it does seem like there is going to be a bit of a shakeup, but it's still that sigh of relief at the end, if you decide to unearth or look further into the situation. Let's look a little bit further here on this Turbulence card. Do we got any more information here on the rest of it for group three? Group three. Okay, so we have the ocean 
<laughs> be beautiful, mysterious, wild, and free, and we have mysterious showing up here, so there definitely is a mystery element to this. Um, I feel like this has come up in a previous... I don't remember exactly which, but just a couple of videos back, we had a lot about mystery, um, and it's been coming up a lot lately, so if you've been getting this kind of energy cycling around for you, then this is definitely something to continue to look into, but it definitely feels like with the ocean, right, where we're literally diving deep, we're looking deeper into the situation, um, and we're unearthing that, and by doing that, sometimes we find things that we weren't expecting, things that are beautiful, things that are mysterious, things that are really creepy at the bottom of the ocean so I, you're not really sure what you're gonna get it's very much a mixed bag but I still think that it might be if you're open to it worth the conversation worth the the opening that bag of worms if you feel safe and ready to as always safety is most important in this situation so let's move further. We're going to pull one card here to finish up the cards of this reading. But like I said, we're going to look into some new ways in which we're going to cast the charms. And we're also going to look into letters and numbers. So definitely stay tuned for those. But if you're enjoying this reading so far, definitely be sure to give this video a like. It really does help the channel so much. Um, and I appreciate it so much. But here we are first going to look into a hidden talent, treasure, gift, or unique thing coming through for you. So this is like your hidden treasure that you're going to be unearthing from the situation, a lesson you're going to be learning or growing through. So feel free to send your energy in. Group three, what is your hidden treasure in this situation? By unearthing all of this, what treasure are you going to find? What are you going to dig up? So I think we're going to take this one. Okay, so we have the five of thread, needle, pain, shock, and trauma as well as challenges with the mountain, um, as that one was really calling to me at the bottom. Okay, so this is definitely not an easy one. It reminds me a lot of the Three of Swords. It's got that same sort of energy of like, um, kind of like putting these needles into something so beautiful. So like I said, I do think that there, that whatever needs to be said needs to be said because it's possibly a little bit difficult or it's maybe something that you're maybe not ready to unearth and that's okay too. Um, but I do think that it's okay to talk to people. I do think that it will help you move forward um, and find a little relief and a little rest. Um, but I do think that it is not an easy thing to talk about or an easy thing to confront. But when I see this card, it also reminds me of that feeling that you get from acupuncture and things like that, that relief that you get afterwards. So I do see a lot of relief um, coming through with this pile. And that five showing up here with the five over here just relates again to that same energy of feeling like you need to unearth it or that it's going to continue to stay in this in that winter landscape. Um, but we also had the mountain show up here with challenges, adversity, and endurance. So I do see you having to possibly go up this hard challenge, but I do think, like I said, what you're going to unearth is going to be that relief. What you're going to unearth and the hidden treasure in all of this, what you can see beyond just the surface level, is the view from the top of the mountain, the view that you're going to get from going through that. And it's going to be something you have to endure all the way up there. It's not going to be an easy, it's an uphill battle for sure. And it may definitely be rough waters, but I do see it being, um, you know, a worthy view from the top. So that's what I'm getting here so far from your cards. Definitely feel free to pause here and look at them because I'm going to go ahead and set this on top um, and we're going to look into the rest of it. So today I decided to use like my little mini mat and my uh, new setup here and we're going to see into the rest of your reading. So in this case we're going to look into the details. So this is going to give us names, dates, and places here first with the charms with the um, letter tiles. So let's go ahead and look at those. So I'll just straighten this out a little bit for you. Uh, so here we go, group three. Goodness, I had so many. Um, but there was definitely one that was just like tingling in my hand. Uh, so we had the letters R, R, O, P, U, A, Z and I show up here. I'm seeing like zippy, roar, um, those sorts of things. But then we also have the letter C, 
I, A, and E. So we have like the num the letters for like Ray. Um, I'm also seeing, like I said, Roar, uh, Cup, maybe filling your cup. Um, A I O. I and Z. So feel free to scramble these up. I'm also seeing rare showing up here, like a very rare, something that's a very rare opportunity, a rare cup to find. Um, but definitely take your time and see what comes through for you. Maybe even scramble these up um, yourself with your own letters if you have them, or if you want to, you can write them on a piece of paper and scramble them up and see what comes through for you. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, um, but let's go ahead and see now the numbers that are coming through. So these are going to be like specific dates or um, months, days, they even might even be like angel numbers and things like that or birthdays or whatever you may see in these definitely take your time with your intuition here but here we go group three group three okay so let's go ahead. We first off have the number 12 coming up here twice. So you have two numbers with 12. You have another one with eight in the same color, the number one and the number four and 12 here. So 12 is coming up three different times. So you now have 12, 12, 12, one, eight, and four. Um, 481, 418, see what comes through, but those are all of your different numbers. Could even be with 12, 12, 12, it can also be a, a angel number as well. But lastly, we are going to go ahead and pull you your letter tiles, or sorry, your uh, charms rather. So let's go ahead and mix these up. These are going to give us those smaller details to round off the reading and the hidden treasure that you're about to find and unearth from this. So let's go ahead and do that, group three. Okay, not a lot of charms here. There isn't a huge amount of overwhelm. We have the um, the anchor charm showing up here, but it was upside down, so it always makes me think that you're you're feeling a little unhinged or ungrounded, or possibly feeling that freedom that you're still you know moving down a do a new path. We also have the number twenty eleven or two o o one one or two zero one one rather, um, showing up here with this charm. You also have the angel wing, so maybe someone taking you up under your wing or having a lot of spiritual guidance right now, um, different signs and signals coming through right now, possibly from your angels or from loved ones coming up here. This has been showing up a lot for the different piles. But that's really beautiful to have show up for you. Um, I also just feel like someone taking you under their wing right now as well, um, kind of sheltering you or giving you that comfort that maybe you need uh, because we definitely are unearthing something, right? Something is about to kind of pop because whenever I see this charm, it makes me think like it is overflowing. It needs some pressure um, to like come out of this, right? There's just so much that is being sort of just pushed down and pushed down and pushed down that there is going to be that that moment of burnout from holding on to such weight. So I do see a very weighty conversation happening because also the wing can talk about that um, same energy I was getting from the crow earlier, that communication air element energy. And then we also have lastly here a little silver star. So this makes me think that it's um you know, you're maybe not unearthing gold, like it's not an easy situation that's going to make you feel like you're unearthing treasure and gold and something that's absolutely beautiful and shiny, but you are still unearthing something that is going to give you that view at the top of the mountain, that's going to give you that feeling of satisfaction and relief um, by just knowing and not sitting and waiting and not having all of the facts. So that's what I have showing up here for you with all of your different charms and cards here. Definitely feel free to pause and see what comes through for you. Like I said, this is a very intuitive reading. Um, and this one had a lot more of a narrative showing up than the others. 
but I still do see that mystery element that I think you're going to have to unearth beyond this reading and see what comes through. Uh, but that is what we have so far. If you enjoyed this reading, as I mentioned earlier, it would be amazing if you could give this reading a like. It really does help. Also, letting me know in the comments down below that you just enjoyed your pile or um, how it resonated with you. If you had specific intuitive hits, I would love to hear your thoughts. Those are always super interesting to me. Um, and also, if you would like to check out this channel even further, you can see all the different... Um, readings and videos that I already have available, but I do put out new readings every single Monday for love, career, spirituality, um, what wishes are coming true for you, as well as monthly and two-week readings, and so, so much more. So if you would like to check out the different readings that I put out, then definitely feel free to and consider subscribing to this Kindred Spirit space. I would love to have you here. And also, if you would like to support this channel even further, then definitely feel free to check out the Kindred tip jar I have down below. It is by no means necessary or even required, but it does really uplift this space by helping me get new supplies and decks and different charms to really give us a little bit more detail to your readings. Um, but if you would like to support this space as well as support yourself, then you, can then you can also check out the different offerings that I provide for snail mail readings as I am doing those this month as well. So all of the information on that will be down below as well as reviews and helpful information beyond that. And um, yeah, I think I'm rambling now, but thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting yourself and playing around with your intuition here. And I hope you do unearth what needs to be because I do see a lot of relief there. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.